Hello everyone, I am Rohit and today I am going to talk about the list. In ServiceNow we have list and form. So today I am going to talk about the list in ServiceNow. So this video is basically designed for the junior who does not know about much in the ServiceNow. So ServiceNow is a platform where there are many tables. One of the table name is the incident. So if I go to this incident, this is a table. And if I open this table, so this is the list of the record which is present to this table. And you can see right now in this table, I have 66 uh, record. Record means what? In a table, we have a, a row, okay, or we have a record. One, two, three, four, like that. We have a 67 record present to this table. So first, you can, you can see that this is the top. We have an incident table. So the top, we have mentioned that table name. Next, we have this button, okay. So this is the list, this is the list control button. And where you have a various option we'll discuss further this next we have a filter where you can put some filter and based on the filter you can search that record okay and next we have a table name then we have a view name and here you can you have a options called search option like number open short description these are the search option now you have activity stream here you have a personalized list and here you can, uh, you know, this is the utility button which is coming by default. And then list action, you can do perform action. Then you have a button where you can create the record. And this is, we call the breadcrumbs. And this is the selectable option where you can select that. And these all we call the table header. So each table have a various column. One of the column name is number, opened, short description. And these all are the record. Here you can search each boxes, you can search that. The total, the starting row of that uh, starting number of the row and then uh, ending number of the row is showing and maximum total record of the row. And now you can go to the next page or the last page. So these are the buttons, uh, these are the options that are available in your service node list. Let's understand one by one uh, what are the functionality available into the list. First, you can mark this as a favorite. So you can click the cake create favorite, it will be marked as a favorite. Now you can refresh the list. Let's say that you want to refresh the list. You can just simply right click and refresh that. Now each page you can see 1 to 20. Each page it is showing 20 record. You can increase the count from show 20 to 50 or 100. So you can change the 50 and each row it will show the 50 record. I mean each page it will show the 50 record. You can see at that moment it is showing the 50 record. You can make this row count 50 to 100 even. So each page it will show the 100 record so that you can do that. You can group by. So if you want to group based on specific field, you can group by. Let's say that I can group by, let's say caller. Once I do that, you can see this caller have a two incident record showing. This caller have five incident records. So I can group by based on the particular field. Okay. And next we have a filter. So we can create uh, some active uh, personal filter or public filter so you can see if I click the active and then it will show the it, it is showing the all the active incident and right now active incident count is 40 and total incident count is 67 so this way we can uh, it have a quick filter you can use any of this quick filter like closed it will show all the closed incident 27 is the closed incident so this way you can get the quick filter now you will have a view there are various view available for a different kind of person let's say that end user uh, it will have the three column for other person it can have more fields so you can see for if i go to the default view there are many more fields available so this depending on which view you are it will show that data we will come this point further in we'll deep dive all those later in our video but this is what we have okay so let's say that you don't need that, uh, uh, you know, this filter, the quick filter, you need your personal or custom filter, you can click here and you can create your own filter. Let's say that you can put the caller and then you can put any name. Okay. So let's say that system admin, you can put that and run that. So this is a, we, can, we call the uh, filter. So using the filter, we can do or we can personalize any kind of things or we can uh, show the record we can show less record much record depending on our use cases 
now we have a table name this is the table name which is showing right now and here you can directly search with that let's say you can put the 09009 it will be able to search that okay if you put 9009 you can see i'm getting some record with the 9009 so you can search from here directly from here okay similarly you can select particular record and you can if you want to delete you can delete that simply click the delete button it can be deleted so this is the multi uh, you know multi row actions you want to do some perform action you can do that next you can have option called new button by using the new button you can create a fresh new record so if you click the new button to land to a form where you can create a fresh record there so you can create a record so this is the table and where you can create a record so let's go back this is the breadcrumbs you can see this is the in this breadcrumb you can put any kind of i mean you can see the filter basically okay and now you have a each these all are header click any of this header it will automatically ascending and descending order let's click any of this field it will start filtering based on that you know field okay so you can do any ascending order or descending order okay now um, you can even search from here directly you can put the number call any number and it will be able to search that after that you can see there are row right so these all are row under this row you have a blue color you can see this are the blue color so if you click any of this blue color it will open a specific record for example this inc number is a blue color if i click that it will open in a that incident in a form view or more detailed view okay this, this is the form view you see this is caller right so this is incident which is referencing basically caller is a separate table which is referred or you can say refer refer to this incident table if you, and here it is that's the reason it is showing there's a blue right so if i click that it will directly open that caller record so this is the caller name and it will give me the caller details so if i click the show matching let's say i'm clicking the show matching and if i do that it automatically create a filter called caller equal to this one so field field equal to that value so show matching means fields equal to that value let's do one more time so priority if i show matching so field means priority equal to critical it will be create a filter called priority equal to critical you can see top you have a priority equal to critical and once you do that based on that it will show that kind of record so all the incident record which priority is one it will start showing that now we can click again show matching once you do the show matching and again you can do the show matching once you do the show matching it will further filter like caller equal to that username and you can see this caller equal to that uh, username so this way it will create additional filter so you can see first it said the priority equal to critical and caller equal to this user now you can simply if you want to remove this filter you just click that and it will be removed that filter and here if you want to remove that you can just hover over that and it will remove the filter now you have a options called filter out so if you right click you have a options called filter out filter out means that caller not equal to this one show matching means caller equal to this this value or i mean this field equal to this value or if you do the filter out a field not equal to this value so if you filter out then show me the uh, show me the record which caller doesn't uh, does not this user that is showing right now here you can see if i right click filter out so it will show that the uh, field like priority not equal to critical so if i filter out it will create additional filter called priority not equal to critical so this way you can filter out or you can do a show matching you can right click on that any of this date field and it will show show after so any record which is created after this uh, like 927 uh, this date you can show me so you just click that it will show after you can do show before so show me the record whichever is created before that record it will show me all this before or old record and even you can see under the filter on the top it is automatically generating this uh, under the breadcrumbs now if you each record have a unique identifier or unique key if you right click you have a options called copy csid copy url so if you click the copy url it will give you a url that is a particular for that record and if you open that that record will be open in a form view so i just hit that and this record will be open in the form view 
right so i just click that 108 and right click copy url and hit to the next browser it is opening into the form view either you click here or you can get that copy url to if you want to send through mail or any other cases you have a options called copy cc id copy if you click the copy cc id it will generate or it it will give you that unique id for that particular record so this is the unique id or unique cc id for particular record now if you click all at that moment uh, i am seeing that each page have a 67 records so if i change this view to the 10 so each page it will show the 10 record you can click the next and it will show the next page record called 11 to 20 and then if you click next it will show 21 to the 30 so this way you can uh, basically uh, change the page and if you click this one it will go to the last page of this record so this way you can switch that and similarly you can go to the previous and uh, first page of the uh, record now if you select multiple record let's say you selected two record if you want to delete you can select that and you can just um, you know multiple action this is the actions where can be performed on that record multiple records and you can see you selected two record and you can do any kind of actions whichever whatever is defined here so let's say you want to delete you can simply click the delete button to delete that now on the top each header if you right click here you have various option like a to z z to a that we show the ascending and descending order if you want to export the record in excel you can export the record you can do bar chart, a pie chart, depending on what you want. Okay. And even if you want to update a selected or update all. So if you do the update selected, these two record can be updated. Or if you select the update all, all the record will be updated. So let's say that I'm doing the update selected and this record can be updated to any state or any, any, anything. Okay. Similarly, like selecting one record or two record or three record and updating like right, right click and update all or update selected, you can directly update from here list layout. So you can double click on MES field and then here you can start modifying that like test and then you can mark is save or discard. So you, you can discard or you can just double click put the value and click here it will be saved. So if you if you want to update multiple record, you can select that any record like this and then press shift and then down arrow and then i you can see i'm able to select that record so i'm able to select this record and then you double click on that record and here it is showing the six record is selected and you can put any name called system administrator or any any value if you want let's say i'm selecting here and i'm selecting any user and click ok all these six record or whatever record i have selected will be updated so this way you can directly even update that you can select a record and then update or maybe you can do the update all depending on your use case or what you need you can do that so you can just simply select that multiple record and update that here also i'm just giving you one more example i'm selecting a couple of record double click it is saying that seven record will be updated i'll put the test value and click ok and the, all the value will be saved so this way I can update multiple record. If you see the bottom, we have a small uh, response time. If you click here, it will show you that server response time. How much time it takes to load the data, unload the data. So all these server related, CSS related, all these response time will be shown here. So that's all about the list. If you have any question, let me know in my comment section. Thank you very much. Have a great day.